Welcome to another episode of the Nutri Mantra podcast. Today, we are diving into a topic that is increasingly affecting the Asian community, heart disease. This issue has roots that extend beyond lifestyle choices deep into our genetic makeup. Recent studies have shown that Asian genes may predispose us to store more fat compared to our american counterparts even when following a similar diet and lifestyle a key player in this scenario is triglyceride a type of fat found in our blood and food high levels of triglyceride known as hypertriglyceridemia is alarmingly common among indians and can lead to serious health issues like heart disease and stroke what is particularly concerning is that high triglycerides often have no warning signs but there is some good news a simple blood test can detect high triglyceride levels and effective treatments are available while high triglyceride level is a risk factor it is still unclear if triglycerides directly cause cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks stroke these diseases are often the result of plaque built up in the arteries which high triglycerides doesn't directly cause however high triglyceride can still pose significant risks affecting more than just your heart and blood vessels for instance they can increase the risk of pancreatitis which is an inflammation of the pancreas this in turn can lead to diabetes if left untreated and we know that diabetes is definitely a risk factor for heart diseases So who is at risk for high triglycerides? Triglyceride levels tend to rise as we age. Other risk factors include being overweight or obese, lack of exercise, excessive alcohol consumption, genetic factors, conditions like type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, pregnancy, certain medications such as birth control pills hormone therapy steroids and some cholesterol lowering drugs can also contribute to high triglyceride levels a lipid profile blood test is used to diagnose high triglycerides this test should be conducted after fasting for at least 12 hours according to the national cholesterol education program guidelines that is ncep guidelines adults should have this test every 5 years or more frequently if they have risk factors like diabetes or a family history of high triglycerides or are overweight or obese the ncep defines borderline high triglyceride as anything between 150 to 199 milligrams per deciliter high triglycerides as 200 to 499 milligrams per deciliter and very high triglycerides as 500 milligram per deciliter or more than that people with high triglycerides that is anywhere between 150 to 999 milligrams per deciliter puts them at risk for heart disease but above 2000 mg per deciliter poses a high risk for pancreatitis what can we do to manage high triglycerides the first step is definitely lifestyle change losing weight exercising regularly and eating a healthy diet low in saturated fats and sugar these are crucial It is also important to limit the intake of refined processed grains like white bread, pasta made from refined flour. Instead include plenty of fiber in your diet which helps you feel full and aids in the removal of excess fat from the body. 
you are also advised to limit alcohol consumption as it can raise triglyceride levels in addition to these lifestyle changes medications may be necessary to lower triglyceride levels remember high triglycerides can be a menace but they don't have to be if you stay proactive about your health and you keep those levels in check there is nothing to worry about triglycerides that's all for today's episode of the nutri mantra podcast do tune in for more and share the episode with people who might benefit from this stay healthy take care bye bye